another one if you are new to the channel. I am Gold Pony. I do car reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the completely redesigned 2020 Hyundai Sonata, courtesy of Jack Volvo Hyundai in York, PA. And so you guys probably know I am insanely excited to be in this one. Reason being is because there are so many class exclusive features now in the brand new Sonata, stuff that no other cars in its class has, like the Accord, like the Camry. And on top of that, it also has above average predictive reliability ratings by consumer reports which is also a plus of course so what do you say let's go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are a few different trim levels for the 2020 sonata first one being the se starting at twenty three thousand four hundred dollars then you have the sel starting at twenty five thousand five hundred dollars sel plus for twenty seven thousand four hundred and fifty and lastly the one we have today being the limited starting at thirty three thousand three hundred dollars and so with those four trim level options there are actually two different engine setups and they're going to be paired up with particular trim levels. First power plan is going to be a 2.5 liter direct injected inline four cylinder engine belonging to the SE and SEL trim levels. This one puts out 191 horsepower at 6100 RPM, 181 pound feet of torque available at 4000 RPM. Power sent to the front wheels through an eight speed automatic with no paddle shifters on this particular engine setup. And obviously that means the other engine setup does come with them, but all in all MPG numbers come in at approximately 28 in the city, 30 38 on the highway and there are some compact and subcompact cars that still don't even get 38 miles per gallon on the highways that's pretty crazy but other engine setup of course belonging to the SEL plus and limited that we are in today being a 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 180 horsepower 5500 rpm 195 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 1500 to 4500 rpm once again sent to the front wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifter so you guys know we will of course be testing those out in a little bit here but all in all when you put all of that together zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 8.2 seconds for this engine setup with mpg numbers coming in at 27 in the city 36 on the highway still very respectable for the size of the sonata and so we did want to mention before we continue if that was not enough power for you hyundai has announced already there is an n-line hyundai sonata coming out soon and they do promise that that one is going to come with 275 plus horsepower not sure of the exact number quite yet but still 275 horsepower the only thing i would be wondering about at that point is that much power being sent to the front wheels is it really going to keep traction but i'm sure hyundai will pull it off find some way to pull it off just like the honda civic type r did with its 300 plus horsepower but before we do that acceleration and paddle shifter test i did want to mention there are some drive modes of course available for the 2020 hyundai sonata and they are going to include smart normal sport and custom and essentially if you're wondering about that smart driving mode that essentially is going to adapt to your own drive driving style. So it's kind of going to be an adaptive driving mode, constantly adjusting to your driving style and how much power is needed. But essentially these drive modes are going to adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, and actually the steering sensitivity as well. So right now we are in normal driving mode. Let's, oh my gosh. All right, before we even touch on any of that, gauge setup is absolutely ridiculous and I'll elaborate more on that later but when I did just put it in sport driving mode it did the coolest transition from normal to sport kind of like a little explosion on the gauges there or something and it is all in a red hue now and it did immediately downshift for me by the way so it is going to hold the RPMs at a much higher level giving you more power on demand it is a noticeably different steering feel as well much heavier weight to it not too heavy still probably not as heavy as I would like it to be but still a very nice weight to the steering wheel it's actually really nice I like it but having said all that I think you guys know what we have to do next let's go ahead and just hit the paddle shifters that puts you in paddle shift mode and let's downshift we're in sixth gear fifth gear fourth gear third gear here we go All right, yeah, there is a little bit of a delay to it, I gotta be honest, but still, the fact that there is paddle shifters on the Sonata is pretty cool, if anything. You can use it for engine braking in the winter when it's snowing out or something like that, so you don't have to hit the brakes and slide all over the place, so. That is definitely pretty nice still that the paddle shifters are there, and they do feel really high quality too, I really like them, so. Anyways, to go ahead and take it out of paddle shifter mode, all you need to do is simply press absolutely nothing, and it does go back into that normal driving mode, giving the control back to the vehicle, but now having done the paddle shifter test, what do you say? let's go ahead and do an acceleration test, letting the car have full control. And let's see how quickly we can get the new 2020 Sonata here up to speed. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's definitely a pretty nice acceleration. Not the quickest thing in the world, but we actually lost a little bit of traction there upon acceleration there at the beginning, but then again, yes, I'm going over the line a little bit. Who cares? But dang, this thing's got a good amount of pull, but yet at the same time, it kind of makes me wonder when they put out that end line Sonata, if I'm slipping here in this one, Hyundai better do something with that power to put it to the ground in the end line. But nonetheless, still plenty of an acceleration. It is an even 20 degrees out today, so quite cold. So you're going to get a little bit of slippage really, no matter what car you're in. So once we hit second gear though, this thing was definitely pulling pretty hard. So acceleration is just fine. You're definitely not going to have any issues with merging onto the highway or anything like that. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 11.8 inch solid rear discs. As far as 60 to zero time, that comes in at 121 feet, which is pretty on par for the course there. As far as braking fuel goes, as I am turning around these sharp turns here, braking fuel is perfectly fine. That is one thing Hyundai always does right. I do own a Hyundai, by the way. I have a Hyundai Santa Fe 2017. Braking feels absolutely excellent. I think that's one of the first things I noted when I first picked up that vehicle as well. So braking feels excellent really in any Hyundai there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back an independent multi-link rear suspension. Ride quality definitely on point as well. Not to the point of like a Genesis G80 Sport that soaks up absolutely everything, but still ride quality is definitely pretty nice for the Sonata. As far as steering feel goes, really that depends on the driving mode, quite honestly, that you put it in. I'm leaving it in Sport because it is a heavier weighted steering wheel there when I have it in Sport mode, but if you didn't want that, just put it in Comfort mode and it's a little more loosey-goosey for you, so it's really whatever you want, so that's always nice to have in a vehicle. As far as cabin noise goes, I'm actually going to take it out of Sport driving mode because we don't need that... Uh, hanging out in upper RPMs, but cabin noise is definitely fine as well. Not a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin, so no issues there for me. And also, I do want to mention part of that is because there is an acoustic front windshield that comes standard on all trim levels of the Sonata, so really, that is going to absorb a lot of those exterior noises right there too, so that's a plus too. But touching on visibility a little bit, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And actually, I would even say those headrests are tucked down fairly well in that second row, so really visibility is probably one of the best for its class, I gotta be honest. Did wanna mention while we're sitting here traffic, in addition to that, I am looking at a head-up display right now, giving me things like safety features, the speed limit of the road I am currently on, as well as my current speed in digital form. So that's definitely gonna assist with visibility, you can better focus on actually driving and enjoying the Sonata. And again, that is standard specifically for the limited trim level. Another cool thing about that head-up display though, is you can adjust the colors as well. And of course, leave it on the white setup that we have it on right now, but you can also switch it up to orange or like a lime green if you wanted to. I always like that. Nothing better than being a little bit different there, but in addition to that, visibility gets even better. Rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on all trim levels. It's kind of like automatic headlights. You never have to worry about it. Once the Sonata detects any sort of rainfall, even a mist, it's going to automatically turn on the windshield wipers. Again, one less thing you have to worry about so you can better focus on driving. Really a safety feature in itself right there. But perhaps the coolest part of our visibility when it comes to the Sonata is when you put on the turn signals. If you put on a left or right turn Turn signal it is going to display in the left or right portion of the digital gauge setup what is to your sides essentially now by the way once again a limited only feature limited only trim level but that is super cool definitely nice if you're trying to maybe back out of a parking spot or even just merge on the highway or something like that I just put on the turn signal right now it's definitely going to be helping out helping prevent you from turning into the car next year if you're merging onto the highway or anything like that so one of those things you don't usually see on vehicles but I absolutely love that it's there but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful Hampton Gray 2020 Hyundai Sonata all right so here it is you guys the new 2020 Hyundai Sonata forgive me for all the leaves I am currently stepping on but Definitely love the design, a very coupe-like design in the sedans. That's definitely pretty cool. Many unique elements to the car, and of course, I'm about to touch on all of them for you. So let's go ahead and start up front here. You will find an elongated lower hood line 
So again, more of a coupe-like design. This hood does actually come down very low. It definitely looks pretty good. A lot of other sedans will leave that hood line up a little. So I can imagine that is definitely going to assist with aerodynamics as well as styling, of course, to go along with that. But up front, you will find a large black cascading front grille, at least found on the SEL trim level and up. If you were to go with the SE trim level, however, you will find a kind of a traditional Hyundai front grille, much smaller design to it. So you will find the larger course cascading front grille on this particular one that you're looking at right now very elegant front end i would have to say i think that is probably the best word to describe it first thing that caught my attention i don't know i always look for this kind of stuff got a little aerodynamic cue found in the bottom corner of that front bumper essentially what that will do is the air will go in here and then it will come out right here directing air around the wheel and tire combination there so better airflow better drag coefficient so that's always a good thing and it of course increases miles per gallon because of that as well to the sides led headlights will come standard on every single trim level even the se and of course they will come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out they're going to turn on automatically for you so you never have to worry about that but perhaps the best part course about the headlights is going to be those LED daytime running lights and it's a little lasso effect and I think the reason Hyundai calls it a lasso is because you kind of have the tail end of the lasso right here and then it kind of goes around and that extends all the way down the side and it kind of wraps around the windows as well so this is one of those class exclusive features that no other manufacturer is doing right now because you see right here it's a chrome finish and then it slowly kind of fades. So like you got the LEDs right here, LEDs more pronounced and it kind of fades as you go. So that is definitely something that is pretty cool. Here's a hopefully a little better look for you guys, but it actually does just fade away. It's one of those things at first, I didn't know if I liked it, but now looking at it up close, I gotta say I absolutely love it. Did wanna also mention you will get a sportier front fascia if you were to go with that SEL trim level and up. That of course goes along with the grill. Perhaps the only thing I think could possibly be improved upon with the Hyundai Sonata is that bottom lip. I feel like it kind of goes in that upward direction a little bit, whereas if they brought it down a little bit I think it might make the design a little bit better but perhaps that's just me but that's my personal opinion anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the side chrome window surrounds will come standard on all trim levels as well as body colored door handles again for all trim levels and you will actually get some satin chrome accents if you were to go with the SEL plus or limited trim levels but now let's go ahead and take a look at those side mirrors body colored power adjustable side mirrors will come standard for all trim levels and they will be heated for the SEL trim level and up and they will come with LED integrated turn signals again for the SEL trim level and up. So they definitely look pretty good there. Taking a look at the wheel setup, this is one of my favorite parts and I'll tell you guys why in a second here. 16 inch alloy wheels will come with the SE, 17 inch alloys for the SEL and 18 inch alloys for the SEL plus and limited. And so these wheels are cool and all that, but check out the center caps on these wheels. Look at that design. It's kind of like a diamond like design around that center cap. Who else is doing that right now? Nobody but Hyundai. And it's all about the attention to detail. It's quirky little things like that that make this car so much better. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and make our way to the back. Of course, you have that shark fin antenna up top there. And in case you guys haven't noticed, if you go with the panoramic moonroof, and I'll touch on that in a little bit, you actually get a full black rooftop course that shark fin antenna is going to be black to match that but now another class exclusive for you guys i found this super cool and so an integrated rear spoiler is going to come standard but what no other cars are doing right now is putting these diffusers on the actual spoiler and this is meant to increase aerodynamics so guys can see little diffusers on this actual integrated rear spoiler so that is so cool nobody else is doing this i absolutely love it but nonetheless led taillights will come standard across the board and perhaps one of the coolest parts about these LED taillights is this light bar that travels all the way across the Sonata all the way to the other side. I think that's one of the coolest things. And I do know a lot of companies are doing that right now, but it does definitely look really good on the back of the Sonata. Of course, Sonata lettering spelled out horizontally just below the Hyundai logo there. Now I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm probably going to have to get a little close up, but there is a rear diffuser, a black rear diffuser found in the middle of that rear bumper there. It definitely looks good. And when it comes to the exhaust setup, it is actually going to differ slightly dependent upon the trim level. The SE is going to give you a single exhaust that will actually be tucked away. So you're not going to be able to see it. But if you go with the SEL trim level and up, you will get the setup that you're looking at right now, which is a single exhaust with chrome dual tips. So I think you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
And so, but now since we are around back, the corkiness continues. So let me start with how to go about opening that rear trunk. Of course, there is a button on the key fob. That is one way, that is a traditional way. There is yet another button by the driver's side left knee that is also a very traditional way of going about opening that rear trunk. However, the very coolest way to go about opening that rear trunk of the Sonata is simply pressing inside that Hyundai logo. That is a secret way, which nobody else knows unless really they own a Hyundai or they're watching this video. If if you press that, that trunk will open up for you. So that is without a doubt the coolest way of opening the Hyundai Sonata rear trunk. And of course that was found on previous Hyundai Sonatas, but I always have to mention it. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to commit at an even 16 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Did want to mention if you were curious about if there's any in-floor storage, that's typically found on SUVs anyways, but there's actually a spare tire located underneath of that trunk floor in case you were wondering if there was one or not. But let's go ahead and make our way to the rear leg room now. That comes in at 34.8 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there, perhaps. This is the only area where the Sonata might need a little bit of room for improvement, perhaps, because both the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry do offer approximately 40 inches, give or take an inch or two. So that is quite a bit more than the Sonata, but I will say though, the Sonata does make it up in plenty of other ways, but for those rear passengers, they can also find a rear center armrest with cup holders if you were to go with the SEL trim level and up. If you were to go with the SEL plus trim level and up, you will find rear ventilation back there as well. And for anybody who is going to wonder if there are rear heated seats in the Sonata, there are not. That is specifically reserved for the Genesis brand when it comes to the sedans. That is of course Hyundai's luxury division. But let's now go ahead and make our way to the front seats. Premium cloth surfaces will come with the SE and SEL. Leatherette Dynamica suede combination will come with the SEL plus. And if you were to go with the limited that you are looking at right now, you will find a full leather setup. And so to go along with that manually adjustable seats with the SE, eight-way power driver seat with power lumbar for the SEL trim level and up, heated front seats with the SEL and up again, ventilated front seats with the limited that we have today. And of course you will find memory settings for up to two different drivers found on the driver's side door. Again, if you were to go with the limited trim level only, but let's now go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is an insanely nice design. Again, no other steering wheels look like this. And perhaps this is the reason I keep liking the Sonata. Everything is so different than what you were used to seeing. It is a very unique, a very eye-catching car, especially when it comes to both exterior and interior design because this steering wheel looks absolutely wonderful. Leather wrapped for the SEL Plus and limited trim levels, and it will actually come heated for the limited trim level as well that we have today and again the design it is a four spoke steering wheel and you will find no other steering wheels like this right now so i absolutely love that and yet the quirkiness continues as we make our way to the startup yet again another very insanely awesome part of the hyundai sonata and so first let me start by showing you guys the keys yes that is plural let me show you guys the traditional key here first you do have your hyundai logo on the one side and when you flip it over you have lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch of course the remote start at the very bottom that is the circular button that you simply hold to warm up the sonata before you actually get inside that's always a plus but yet another class exclusive feature of the sonata you guys see those p buttons that show a picture of the car on the key fob here that is so when you go to target or walmart or whatever and people park too dang close to you in the parking lot and you can't even get into your car, all you need to do is simply press that button and the car is going to pull out itself with nobody in the car whatsoever. And so my first question when I first saw this feature is how in the world do you get it to stop? You simply just let go of the button. That's your answer. All you need to do is hold down the button and it is going to either slowly pull out or back out of a parking spot and then simply let it go when you want the vehicle to stop. And by the way, you can also push the button located directly behind the drive mode button to get that feature activated. And so another cool thing about that you might be wondering is what if there's actually a car or a human or something in front of it, is it going to run into it if I forget to press the button? And I don't know if anybody's gonna be asking that question because you simply let go of the button and it's not gonna hit it, but Hyundai says the Sonata will actually steer around that object or person so it doesn't hit it. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put that to the test. I'm going to stand in front of the Sonata and hopefully I don't get run over here. Oh, 
Okay, and so now that you guys have seen that, that is one way you can go about starting this Sonata, but it gets even cooler from there. Let me show you guys the digital key card by Hyundai. And so if you were to go to Ocean City and you were to misplace that key, I'm not saying that I've done that before, there is a digital key card that you can simply leave in your wallet perhaps. And so therefore to get in the Sonata and start it up, all you need to do is simply place this key card on the driver's side door handle and it will unlock for you, letting you in. And then to go ahead and start it, there's actually an NFC card holder, kind of where the wireless phone charger is, just in front of the drive buttons here. And so all you need to do is simply place this key card on that section and therefore you can start the Sonata up via the push button start, located just by the driver's right knee, by the way. So that is yet another way you can go about starting up the Sonata and so that is what I'm going to do right now. Let's get to the gauges here. And so the gauges are actually gonna differ amongst the trim levels. SE and SEL trim levels are going to give you your more traditional gauge setup. However, if you were to go with the SEL plus or limited trim levels, you will find a 12.3 inch LCD digital gauge cluster. This is one of the coolest digital gauge clusters. There's a lot of them out there right now, but this is super high def. Even with sunglasses, I can see it absolutely perfectly. And of course, it is completely customizable by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, giving you things like a compass if you wanted it, your driving modes, of course, average miles per gallon at any given time. It does display your attention level based on a five bar system. Therefore, if the car detects you are getting a little bit slow, sleepy or drowsy and you are still at two bars, you might have to tell yourself to step up your game a little bit because the bars are getting kind of low, but it is kind of a cool safety feature that it's there. And so not only can you adjust what is on that center part of the digital display, you can adjust what's on the right side as well. And of course you have your digital speedometer within the traditional speedometer on the left side as well. So you got both right there on the right side, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. And of course, again, the very best part when you adjust the driving modes, it is like an explosion whenever you change the driving mode, especially to sport and then it gives you that red hue you can do a custom driving mode it kind of puts you back to normal again but i love that sport driving mode it looks so stinking cool when you switch it up even the fonts of all the numbers are completely changed up when you go to that sport driving mode there and again when you put on your left and right turn signal it's going to display what's beside you within the left and right gauge setup as well so Definitely a very impressive digital gauge setup up there. But now let's make our way to overall interior quality. I was mentioning earlier the panoramic sunroof that is gonna come standard with the limited. It is gonna be optional on some of the other trim levels, but it definitely is letting in so much more light for this video. So I am very appreciative for that reason. Wireless phone charger is gonna come with the SEL plus and limited trim levels. And again, that is gonna be the same area where you put that NFC digital key if you were to go that route. Home light controls is going to come with the SEL Plus and limited trim levels. They are found just below the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. Dual zone climate control comes with the SEL trim level and up. And actually with the limited trim level only, you will actually get ambient lighting as well with 64 different colors available. So I was playing around with that quite a while. It definitely reminds me of like the Hyundai Palisade, the Kia Telluride. They have been killing it with ambient lighting lately. I'm sure this would look absolutely amazing at night, quite honestly, but we are in the daytime, so you can't really see it all that much in the day, of course, but at night, this is gonna look absolutely amazing. So I did wanna show that to you guys. Camel leather color is available for the limited trim level. I did wanna mention that because a lot of interior color options, it's kind of limited to a gray or a black, but you can get a camel leather. It's kind of a darker leather if you were to go with that limited as well. But overall, when it comes to interior quality, it is finished just fine for me, honestly. Just in front of that NFC digital card holder, you have a couple USB charging ports as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Just behind that, you have dual cup holders and perhaps what is a cell phone holder in the middle of those cup holders. That's definitely pretty nice as well. There is an electronic parking brake as well that comes standard with the Hyundai Sonata. Just behind those cup holders, you have a place to put your quarter apparently. That is thanks to Travis who lent me his Hyundai Sonata. So make sure you contact Travis at Jack G and Volvo Hyundai if you were interested in this one. And of course, just behind that, you have a little cargo area for the rest of whatever you want to put in there. But overall, like I said, interior quality is definitely very nice. Perhaps my favorite part is the ambient lighting. So always a big fan of that. And the panoramic sunroof, I can't forget about that. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on this one here. Eight inch color touchscreen display will come with the SE, SEL, and SEL plus trim levels. However, if you were to go with a limited trim level, you will find that 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display that you are currently looking at right now. And I will say though, either way, either infotainment setup that you go with, you're still gonna get Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Yes, even on the SE trim level, you're gonna get that. 
factory navigation system is going to be reserved for the limited trim level however i will say you don't really need it these days if you have a smartphone because you're going to have android auto and apple carplay which essentially is where you hook your smartphone up to the car and that gives you free navigation displayed up on that screen as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs and there's a couple other apps compatible with that as well but perhaps the very best part about this infotainment display is another class exclusive there is a button on the home screen in this infotainment display display labeled sounds of nature and so listening to music going down the road is one thing but listening to a lively forest is something completely different and they actually have other options available for these ambient sounds not only the lively forest but also calm sea waves rainy day open air cafe there is also a warm fireplace which sounds absolutely lovely on this 20 degree day here in pennsylvania and also a snowy village so i think most people will agree with me when i I say there's nothing better than driving home from work listening to a snowy village through your vehicle. I don't know. I don't know what Hyundai was thinking there. I absolutely love it. It is so different. Yet, I don't know if I would recommend listening to these ambient sounds if you are feeling tired, of course, because they more than likely will put you to sleep. But it is a very unique idea and yet another class exclusive to this segment. It's a real quick, actually. Let me just let you guys listen to a little bit of those ambient sounds. Enjoy. So of course to go along with those ambient sounds you can also check out your climate control information up there as well as your driving statistics and of course your traditional radio settings and so let me get to the speakers on the sonata now six speakers will come with the se sel and sel plus trim levels however if you were to go with the limited trim level you will find a 12 speaker bose premium sound system therefore that is the sound system we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Bass is overwhelming. The amount of bass on this Sonata is absolutely ridiculous. Clarity is very much on point. I've actually had Bose sound systems in my cars before. I'm actually an Infiniti G35, and that Bose sound system never failed me. Absolutely wonderful wonderful sound system in that. And again, this sound system is specific to the limited trim level. Otherwise, you're going to get six speakers. But nonetheless, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display, at least, is when you do put the Sonata in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level across the board. And actually, in addition to that, if you were to go with the limited trim level, you will get a 360 degree monitor, a surround view monitor, if you will, letting you know what is around you on all angles, as well as you get a couple different views up there as well. And it is a very high resolution display, I will say that. So definitely a very nice infotainment screen overall, but nonetheless, as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying the Hyundai Sonata was a 2019 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation by IIHS. And so I would expect the same for 2020, although it has not yet been tested. So definitely a nice start when it comes to safety there. Front side and side curtain airbags will come standard as well as the driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. In addition to that, rear child door locks back there. Tire pressure monitoring system will also come standard, but also some of the more advanced safety features that do come standard for every trim level of the Sonata do include forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, lane following assist, driver attention warning. Again, I mentioned that to you guys earlier. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Also rear occupant alerts. You don't leave anybody in the back seat. That's always nice. 
SEO Plus trim leveling up is going to add a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And that's going to be the little car icons in your side mirrors letting you know what is in your blind zone so you don't go turning into anybody. Limited trim level then is going to add parking collision avoidance assist, a blind view monitor, which I kept mentioning to you guys earlier, of course and highway drive assist. And the way that essentially works is over 35 miles per hour at least, it essentially is like Hyundai's autopilot system. Now I will say this autopilot system won't turn if you were to turn on the turn signals, it won't actually turn on the lane for you, but if you stay in one lane, it will actually turn the steering wheel, it will stop, it will go. It is a full autopilot system at least when it comes to that. So that is definitely pretty cool, especially for longer road trips. But that about wraps up this review of the new 2020 Sonata. I do appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.